Press release SEO can be one of the best sources of high tier backlinks that can skyrocket your rankings onto the first page of Google, even for the most competitive keywords. Also, it can be a big part of your marketing strategy to grow your brand awareness and drive referral traffic to your website. So what is press release for SEO? Press release for SEO is a practice of writing newsworthy press releases and distributing them to journalists and media outlets in order to obtain backlinks, referral traffic, brand exposure, and coverage from popular news, magazines, and journals such as Bloomberg, The Sun, BBC, New York Times, Yahoo Finance, and others. Common tasks associated with press release SEO include writing a press release, finding the right journalist, pitching your PR to a journalist, and tracking your results. Why is press release important in SEO? To rank on the first page of search engines, you need to build trust with them. And one of the best ways to build trust with search engines like Google is to get mentioned by big media websites. In fact, Google has stated this in their Google Quality Rater guidelines when giving an example of a trustworthy website, stating that confirmation by reputable news users can trust the website. Not only that, but John Miller also said, Digital PR is just as important as technical SEO, and in most cases, even more. And one of the reasons why press release for SEO is so important is because of the backlinks, as these backlinks are the highest tier, highest quality, and organic backlinks that Google loves and wants you to build. Unlike with other link building strategies, with the press release, you can build hundreds of backlinks a day without worrying Google will penalize you, because these links are organic backlinks. However, it's important to ensure you get a backlink from those sites that publish or mention your PR, as John Miller confirmed that brand mentions are not a search engine optimization factor in this video. With that, there are more benefits to press release SEO, such as referral traffic, brand recognition, brand visibility, and 100% wider SEO backlinks. So now, when you understand what is press release in SEO and why it's so important, let's have a look at some of the best practices. The first press release SEO best practice is to focus on writing PR around popular or trending topics or keywords that are currently being discussed by journalists. A great example of looking at current trending topics and using them to build great coverage is VPN overview with help of search intelligence. During the summer heatwave in the UK, journalists were covering everything about the heatwave and because of that, VPN overview had put together a guide on how to protect your device in the heatwave which helped them to land coverage on websites like mirror.co.uk, a massive high-quality backlink from a website with a domain trust of 91 according to SE ranking. And this can be about anything that is currently trending, whether it is a TV show, weather, war, celebrities, or evergreen, but interesting topic. For example, UK royal family is always an interesting and popular topic among journalists. So Oxford Royal did study who is the smartest person in the royal family, which landed backlinks from sites like My London with a domain trust of 82. So coming up with the trendy or popular topics or keywords will help you get coverage across popular media sites regardless you are a big or a small website. Another best practice for SEO press release is to use Google Trends for finding relevant and trending topics to draw important and interesting findings. Google Trends is an excellent SEO tool for keyword and topic research you should use to stay ahead of your competitors. With the available data, you can do mini research and the findings of the research can be presented to journalists which can lend you high quality backlinks. For example, Ferry Katsoni did 5 minute research using only Google Trends to land over 20 plus high quality backlinks from big media sites. Therefore, you should be regularly monitoring Google Trends to find any interesting spikes. For example, when Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan on August 2nd, 2022, during the China-Taiwan crisis, the searches for her name peaked. I also recommend you to install the Glimpse Google Trends Chrome extension to get even more information and data that can be presented to a journalist which can increase your chances of getting coverage on media sites. Another important SEO PR best practice is to distribute your press release directly to a journalist. When it comes to sending press releases, there are two ways you can go about it. You can use press release distribution network services, which essentially distribute your press releases across syndicated press release media sites and their own list of journalists. This is often cheaper but less effective method. Or second, you can directly pitch your press release to relevant journalists while writing about the same topic as your press release and get your digital PR published on their media sites. This is a very effective method 
However, it can also be expensive as you need to use PR media software to find media contacts and outreach software, which can be costly. If you choose the first method, there are many different press release distribution services that you can find, some at very affordable price. If you are going to use the second method, which I recommend, you need to get a list of relevant journalists along with their details that write about topics related to your PR. You can use tools like Prowly or Roxhill, which effectively allow you to search for journalists writing about topics related to your press release. And then, once you have the list, Prowly also includes outreach options. However, if the budget allows, I recommend you export the list into the bus stream for your outreach campaign. But if you cannot afford these tools, then you can use cheaper tools like Hunter.io or scan media websites, as in some cases, you can find a journalist's email address at the bottom of the digital PR or on the Altus page. One of the first pieces of advice you find when writing PR is to ensure your press release is short, straight to the point, without any fluff around, no longer than 500 words, and ideally closer to 300 to 400 words. The main goal is to create digestible information that is easy to receive by journalists so the journalists can create an interesting story with the least amount of hassle. The easier you make it for them, the more likely your story gets picked up. Basically, write a press release that's upfront about its purpose and fits on one page of A4, which is about 400 words. If press release is too long or wordy, a journalist is more likely to ignore it. Another press release as your best practice is to ensure you don't include too many backlinks in your press release. Including too many backlinks in your press release can lower your chances of getting coverage on media sites, and especially on those more reputable. Here's why. Search engines could see it as a spammy. Search engines are constantly trying to find out unnatural links and too many backlinks in one short press release could be definitely picked up by them and devaluated. It's not natural. A 300 or 400 word press release having too many backlinks just doesn't look good for you and the journalist publishing it. Focus on your story and include links when and where it makes sense. And lastly, it's bad for user experience. Too many options could overwhelm readers and in the end do nothing. It's called choice paralysis and it can happen with your press release too. Ideally, you should aim to get those readers on your website as well. So, how many links is too many in digital PR for SEO? It really depends. I would say more than two backlinks are already too many backlinks. And in most cases, a press release should have only one backlink to your website. Anything more than that could already be too many, unless there is a good reason. Also, often when there are two backlinks within digital PR, it's to two different sites, like one to the website and one to the social media account. Another best practice for SEO press release is to include contact information. This is more must than best practice, as without that, your press release most likely can't get published. The reporters at the news media outlet who will publish your press release will need your contact information in case of anything, so they can follow up with you. So, every time you create a new press release, include your contact information or the spokesperson information. Include details like name of the spokesperson, name of the company, email address, phone number, and social media such as LinkedIn. A press release should be factual news about your company, products, services, or findings. Market research and statistics are an excellent way to hook the attention of journalists as statistics can improve the factual importance of your press release as statistics easily interpret important findings and results and deliver a strong message. Basically, it makes your digital PR look smarter. So, even if you opt in to use Google Trends for your press release, it's still recommended to use outside third-party relevant statistics to prove your claim. For example, when the gas prices went up during the first weeks of the Russian-Ukraine war, the interest in electric gas increased as well. So you could use that for your press release. And you could further prove your claim by using other EV statistics, such as plug-in vehicles are predicted to make up 23% of new passenger vehicle sales globally in 2025, up from just under 10% in 2021. However, of course, not every press release needs research or statistics, but from my observation, they can improve the chances of your PR getting published. Another super important press release SEO best practice is to write catchy headlines. Press releases are, at their core, marketing pieces and should be treated as such. The headline and opening paragraph, which should pique an editor interest with a clear explanation of why the story is relevant to readers, 
are the two most important elements. If there is one thing you should take from this video is to focus on your headline and it is the most important part of writing a press release. It is the number one thing that will grab your journalist's attention and convince them that you have an interesting story and he or she should check it out. Without that, the chances of getting journalists even read your digital PR to consider it is slim to none. With that, here are some of the best practices for press release headlines. Press release headlines should be short and catchy. Usually, five to seven words is enough. Make each word count. Use active verbs, staying away from is and are. Avoid fancy adjectives and adverbs altogether. Take out unnecessary words like the, a, uh, and that. Be specific. Instead of saying ABC in create new jobs, say ABC in creates 340 manufacturing jobs in Fair Hill. This gives the editor something concrete to grasp. And lastly, focus on headlines as a last. Once you know how your story is, you can create the catchiest yet relevant headlines because nobody likes clickbait headlines. As already mentioned, another important press release for SEO best practice is to focus on the opening paragraph. The initial paragraph of a press release, like the title, should be attractive, short, and to the point. Reporters frequently use an inverted pyramid pattern while writing in journalism. The first paragraph of your page should grab the journalist's attention and answer the fundamental journalist questions, such as who, what, where, when, why, and how. Concentrate on the big picture rather than the minor details. And the very last SEO press release best practice I have for you is to focus on the PR AP style. The associated press release creates every year guidelines for journalists and other media. These not only ensure uniformity in punctuation, fonts, and other aspects of publications, but also ensure that journalists follow a common set of standards. There are a lot of templates available on the internet that you can use that fit your digital press release. You can also use some of the press release writing services that can help you to write in the AB style just to be sure. Doing press release for SEO can certainly be done without any tools. However, it's difficult, time consuming and the results are poor at best. So here are some of the best PR tools to successfully launch your next PR campaign and get the DR90 plus links from big media outlets. The first one is Proudly. Proudly from SEMrush is all-in-one PR management software that helps you to create your press release, find the right journalists from their large journalist database, and then create an outreach campaign with automation options like follow-ups and tracking statistics to manage media relations more effectively by saving time on routine tasks. And compared to their competitors, it's also an affordable PR tool. The second one is Bustream. Bustream is an outreach marketing software helping you to deliver your emails to the right people straight in their inboxes without going into the spam or promotional folders. They help you to build smart lists of journalists and bloggers based on your history with the writer, social reach and influence metrics and conduct outreach to bloggers and journalists with a full view of your conversation history, notes, tweets, emails, their recent posts, social details and more. The next tool is MacRec. MacRank is an easy to use press release management software that helps you to find the right journalists to pitch your digital PR. With their large up-to-date database with over 250,000 contacts, you only connect with those that could be interested in your story. They also help you to easily monitor the latest and trending news in order to quickly create your reactive digital PR to get even higher exposure for your brand. The next tool is Ninja Outreach. Ninja Outreach is an influencer, blogger, and journalist outreach platform that allows you to find the right people with their contact information to pitch your digital PR and promote your brand. It's not only great for promoting your digital PR, but overall, it's a best for link building and influencer marketing campaigns. And the last tool is Rockzill. Rockzill is one of the best media search databases to find exactly the right journalists that are currently writing about the topics that are close to your digital PR and helps you to get all the information you need to know exactly the right time to land in each journalist inbox. And that's all the tools. Now, PR for link building can be pretty expensive, so check out my video to find more affordable link building strategies right here and don't forget to subscribe, write a comment and like. Ciao!